Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to build this simple graphical user interface to retrieve COVID-19 related information by using Python. So you just type the country in here, click the button and it will display the number of the new confirmed cases and the total cases. Um, obviously you could just simply go to Google and get the information you're looking for, but I thought this might be actually a great beginner tutorial to learn how to retrieve information using an API and to build a graphical user interface. To follow along, I assume you have already Python installed on your machine. If not, um, there are already many great tutorials out there to show you how to install Python. Okay, with this being said, let's get started. I have already created an empty Python file, mine it's called COVID-19 tutorial and we will get all the necessary information from using the following API. I will also put the link in the description box below. The output of the API call will be in JSON. To actually see the output in a much cleaner way, I will copy the JSON here and paste it in an online JSON formatter. So now we can see the output here in a much more structured way and this is all the information we could grab from this API. Alright, let's retrieve this information by using the request library. First I will import request and json. Next I will paste the link in a variable called url. And now we can take this url and use it in the request library to see the content. So as I said, the content will be in JSON, hence we also need to convert it first into a Python object. And this will be data, it's equal to json.loads and then in here will be our response text. So if we print out the type of this data variable, we can see now it's actually in Python dictionary. And let me also print out the dictionary and here we can also see now the content. Let me shortly go back to the formatted JSON. I will copy now all the information available over to the Python script and just make it as a comment so it will be easier for me to see what information is actually available in this API. So let us say I would be interested in the new confirmed cases for a specific country. So therefore, I create a variable called new confirmed and this will be equal to data and from here it will be countries and all the information of the countries are stored in a list and to access this list I will use the index location. So the first item of the list will be at position 0 and from this country I would like to grab the new confirmed cases. So let's see if this is working by running the script and printing out new confirmed. Alright, so we got back now 76 and to validate this I will head over to the browser and see if that is actually correct. So for the first country in the list in here this is 67. So great, this is working so far. And if I also want now the total confirmed cases, I can just simply do the same. I only need to adjust the last part as this will be total confirmed. Okay, now we have all the information we are looking for. Next, instead of hard coding the index position, like in our example 0, it would be great to get dynamically the correct index position for the respective country. So let's do that. So the search country would be for example Germany and to get the index location I will create a function which takes the country as an argument. And in this function I will create a for loop. So for index and country in enumerate and this will be sitting in data and countries. Print the index and the country. Alright, if we run this function, it will give us all the countries back with the respective ID. Now, I only want the ID for our search country. So we will also need to implement an if-else statement in here. So this will be if country, country is equal to country. And remember, this is our search country. 
in that case I want to return the index. So for Albania this should return 1. But first we also need to print out this function so that we can see it in our console. Okay, it actually returned none and I assumed it's because I should use a different variable in our function and not to confuse Python in here. So let me rename country with um, item and run the code again. All right, now we got the index back and now we can also test it with Germany. Okay, great. This is all working so far. Now we can replace the hard-coded index with the variable. Uh, in my case, I called it country ID. To finish this up, I will create an F string and concatenate the output we just generated. So this will be last number of new confirmed cases in our search country and on a new line, so backslash n, the total cases are the total confirmed variable. So let me print this out to see if it's working. All right, and now here we got our message back. Okay, last but not least, I will wrap this whole thing in a function because as a next step, we will create the graphical user interface and therefore I'm using a library called tkinter. tkinter comes with Python, so hence no installation is needed here. And to import it, it's just straightforward, like from tkinter import everything. And to initialize the window, I will type window is equal to tk. For the title, I will call it COVID-19 info and I give it a size of 400 by 100 pixel. At the bottom, we also need to include the main loop. And if we run the script again, we have now our graphical user interface. Um, currently, obviously, it's nothing in there, but this we will change just in a second. Um, and the first thing I will do is to create a label. So this will be, um, I call it LBL, it's equal to label, that's the name of the widget. And this should go in our window we just created. And the text will be equal to enter country. And we will place this label to the grid. So lbl.grid and this will go in column zero, in row zero. And I would like to align it to the left. In Tikinta, I can do this with sticky, it's equal to E, and E stands for East. Okay, now let's run the code again, and we can see we have now our label in our GUI. Okay, next, I will create the entry field for our countries. So this will be TXT, it's equal to the entry widget, and also in here, I will place it to the window, and I will give it a width of 30 pixel. And this we also need to grid it. So next to our label, so this goes in column one, but it will be still in row zero. And this should be sticky to the rest. Okay, this is also working, great. Next, I will create the button. So I will call it BTN, it's equal to a button widget. This goes also in the window and the text will be get information. And when the button is clicked, we would like to execute our function. So comment is equal to get country info. We will place this button also to the grid right next to our entry box. So in column two, still in row zero and also sticky to the vest. Okay, this seems also working, but we cannot actually see the output. If I go back to our script, I will print out now the COVID message just to see if everything is working. All right, this is also working, but we still have Germany hard coded. So it does not matter what I type into the entry box, it will always take Germany. And this is obviously not what we want to do. Let us change this, that the country of the info field will be used for our function and this is fairly easy in Tikinta. We just need to replace Germany here with txt.get. 
um, so to retrieve the value from the entry form. So if we try this out for Japan, we can see now the stats for Japan. Awesome. Last but not least, I will display our COVID message in the GUI instead of printing it to the console. So let's display the output in a label. So this will be LBL underscore output. It's equal to label. It also goes to our window. And first I'm testing it. So the text will be test. And this label goes now in row one. So right below our entry. And this time as the text might be longer, it should also go over two columns. So the column span is equal to two. So let us run the code again. And now we can see tests in our GUI. In order to display our output in Tikinta, we will use a string variable. So output underscore text is equal to string variable. And we can now also replace the text with the text variable. Okay, and instead of printing our COVID message, we will take this output text and set it to our message. All right, and there you have it. A simple GUI to retrieve the latest stats for any given country. I hope you found this short tutorial useful and see you next time.